All right. Hi there. How's it going? I wanted to um, go through the latest uh, self-service live event that we just completed. I'm wearing my, my Microsoft uh, stream shirt today, so uh, I'm in the mood to do some live streaming. Um, this one was our lightning talks. So our engineering culture organization, they host these things called lightning talks every other Friday or every other Thursday rather. And um, what they do is they get together every other Thursday at one o'clock from one to two in the auditorium that we have on campus called the assembly. I'll give you a, a look at what that looks like. I'm standing up front right now in that area. And um, they come together and basically people for the last two weeks have been writing their names on a whiteboard, signing up for a slot to do a lightning talk. And when they um, when it comes their time, they come up, they may have a laptop, they may not have a laptop, and they do a five minute talk about anything they want. Sometimes they talk about video games, sometimes they talk about a, a coding concept or just about their favorite movies. A guy did one on uh, Roman emperors this last time. So it's, uh, it's pretty wide open. They talk about whatever they want. And the catch is that they have five minutes to go through it. So they actually have a five minute countdown timer and the person who's moderating, they have a bicorn. And at the end of the five minutes, um, they get honked at if they start going over. And uh, it's just kind of a fun way to practice presentation skills, but also practice them um, under pressure, which is a really interesting idea. I think it's really cool. And they were doing it previously as a Teams meeting, and they had the problem of uh, people were muting the presenter or they were unmuting themselves. You could hear background noise. So we've shifted that to a Microsoft 365 live event. And we're doing this one. Um, it's scheduled in Teams but it is uh, externally encoded, so we're using OBS. And I wanna show you what it looks like on the laptop here. So I'm also recording what it looks like for the people in the room, that side-by-side -side view. What I have on my screen right now is just kind of a basic overview of what we've got going on. I'm gonna talk through it uh, graphically, and then we'll show on video like everything all hooked up and kind of the layout of the room. Just kind of give you an example of like, if you were gonna do something like this, in your organization, how you might pull something like this off. So this is kind of my, my generic setup for how we do a self-service live event. You've got the presenter's laptop right here in the corner. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this, uh, this guy. So up here in the top corner, you've got the presenter's laptop. That is coming out via HDMI. And I get capture, I capture that with the Elgato HD 60S. Um, I'm going to be getting an HD 60S Plus, that way we can do it on a Mac or a PC, it uses UVC. We capture that and then it passes through to the projector in the room. So right behind me here is a projector and it's just like a normal projection setup. They just plug in and they start talking. I'm stealing their feed with this black box right here. This black box is then fed via USB-C into this USB hub. That's how I get the screen. How I get the video in the room is I have a camera set up and that is coming into a capture device from Elgato called a cam link. So it's a little wife, uh, USB dongle that comes in HDMI and it comes out USB. That's plugged in as well into the, uh, the hub right here. And then the third item that's coming into the hub is the uh, Elgato stream deck. So that's how I'm controlling the, the feed. I'm muting, unmuting the microphone. Um, going from the pre-show scene to the live scene, moving around between showing the, uh, showing just the producer's laptop versus, or the presenter's laptop versus just the camera versus a mixed view. And then at the end, I go to an end scene that has no microphone or anything like that. So that comes in that way, I control it. And then what differs a little bit from this diagram as I show this little Rode Wireless Go, um, that would come into the microphone or into the camera and then come into the Elgato cam link. What we're doing in this room, because we have a microphone system in the room, is there's an XLR output in the floor, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm pulling that XLR output directly into the laptop using USB um, audio interface. So all that comes in the laptop, I mix it up with uh, OBS, create the scenes, uh, do all of the, the cool graphics and stuff like that, and then I can either send that out to Yammer or I can send that out to Teams. Um, this time I was just doing uh, RTMP. So I did external coding with RTMP and then uh, sent it out there. But 
we're exploring the idea of using uh, Teams and coding, but using OBS and using something called uh, the NDI virtual output. So we're doing our outputting OBS via NDI and then using the NDI virtual input software to capture the program output from OBS and um, use that as a webcam in Teams. So um, as soon as I get that figured out, I've got some audio problems with that right now, but as soon as I get that figured out, I'll make a video on exactly how we do that, how we take you know, OBS or XSplit or Wirecast or whatever, and using NDI, get that into Microsoft Teams for encoding within Teams and having like an external Microsoft 365 event. So that's the picture overview. That's um, my laptop coming into the producer's laptop. So now I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll do a tour of what this all looks like. So let's flip the camera around here and back up a little bit. This is the assembly at our innovations campus. So you come in, you've got this like kind of a bleacher layout right here. People can just sit on these little pads and uh, it's a really cool area to just kind of come together and uh, do presentations, listen to, uh, to talks. And there's a confidence monitor right there on the ground so they can see what's on the projector. There's the, uh, the presentation laptop. So that's where I was standing just a second ago. And then for the attendees view, they see this big honking projector right here. So there's that, that projection in the room. And we'll swing this back around. And from the presenter's view, this is where I would be standing looking up at all of those bleachers. So you're looking at those people, you'll notice that there is the camera with the producer's laptop. So how do I get from the presenter to the producer? That comes down here. So I've got HDMI coming out of the laptop right here. That is coming straight down this black cord right here. And that comes down to the Elgato capture device. So let me pan this up a little bit. That's coming down here into the capture device. So into that and then coming out USB to the producer. I'm also coming out HDMI and I'm having that come into this little bay right here. So I flip this open, try to use one handed. If I flip this open, pan down a little bit, um, that is going just into this little HDMI switch for the projector. And then there's an XLR out right here. That's an auxiliary out. So I've got an XLR to a 3.5 millimeter connector going to the uh, producer as well. So if we close this back up, I'm going to that HD60S right there. Come around this side right here. So I'm coming out there. You see there's the USB-C cable right here. There's the um, XLR cable. That comes along the floor right here and I would, you know, gaff tape this down if I had gaff tape. But we, uh, we come in here and this cable, the first one, that is the, uh, the display capture device. USB number two is the camera. So that is going up here to the camera. So see that HDMI cable going up to the camera. Then the third one right here, that's the USB audio device that I've got. So that's that XLR cable. It's coming in right there. And then the stream deck is plugged into item number four. So four USB ports, We've got two uh, things of power right there. One of them is powering the USB hub. The other one is powering the uh, producer's laptop. Here's that cam link right there, the Elgato cam link. That's running up here with this little cable to the Panasonic G85. So that's what that looks like. And I've got uh, that coming out via micro HDMI right here. That's coming out to an adapter and over there to the producer's laptop. Along with this also, I don't have a dummy battery yet, so I'm just powering it off of extra, you know, real batteries. I swap it out right before we go live. Okay, taking a look at the producer's laptop, this is a little bit uh, hard to see potentially, but um, what we've got is that USB hub coming in right here. And then I've got the, uh, the scene is, this is that side-by-side -side scene. So you probably saw me standing up at the front up there as I'm looking at the presenter, I'm sitting just, you know, I don't know, six feet away from him or something like that. And I've got the MacBook input. I've got the, uh, the video in the screen there. And what we start out with is the pre-show. 
So to show you the Stream Deck, pre-show, live, screen only, camera only, and end screen. We've got the audio control, and then we have a timer because people have a five minute time. So we have a little countdown timer. What's interesting about this, a new thing that I've done, is I'm using OBS scripts. So if you go into tools and then go into scripts, there's actually countdown timers that are built into OBS now. So I went and downloaded a little bit more advanced one that has the ability to count down to a specific start time. So I'm counting down to one o'clock PM and you can see that that shows up. So I'm going to count down now to, uh, we'll count down to two o'clock and close that. So now 12 minutes and 58 seconds, it says the stream is starting soon. So that way it can count down and people kind of know what to expect when they come into the live stream. Whenever we go live, what I do is I switch to the camera input like that because the moderator or the host, they'll say, you know, hey everybody, welcome to our event. Um, you know, here's how the lightning talks work. And then when the first person comes up, I'll leave it on here and I leave it uh, on the camera because they're gonna be plugging in their laptop. So, you know, there's some movement on screen and I'll mute the microphone, stuff like that. But now you're not looking at like a black projector screen. When they're ready to start talking, what I do is I hit this timer button right here. When I hit that, you'll see the five minute clock comes up and starts talking or starts counting down. I switch to live. And then now I've got that countdown timer with their screen and the presenter. If they're not presenting with a laptop, I'll just leave it on the camera like that. So everybody just watch them talking with the countdown timer. I can switch over to their screen only or to camera only or to live. So the way that I do that is camera only or screen only camera only back to the screen back to the camera and then i can go to that like split screen that has the graphics and all that cool stuff so the person is ready to say hey everybody thanks for for attending i'll hide that timer and then they'll kind of close out the thing and they'll say okay we'll see you again in two weeks uh here's how you sign up and all of that everybody claps and i hit the end button right here and that goes to this end screen that says hey we'll do this again in two weeks you notice that there's no audio sources for that so you can't hear any, you know, like extra chatter or anything like that. We let it sit there for a few seconds and then we uh, end the event in Microsoft Teams. So flip this around here. So that's how we do our uh, live events in, uh, in a lightning talk scenario. It's kind of a unique scenario because it has that five minute countdown timer and it's in a room that already has um, an audio option for us. So we're just stealing the feed from there. They, they only have to wear one microphone. They don't have to double mic because we're just running a cable underneath the podium so that uh, everybody can hear what was, what was in the room and it's amplified and all that cool stuff. So um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and if you uh, wanna see anything else in detail, uh, like how we do the countdown timers or uh, as we get OBS into Microsoft Teams, stuff like that, uh, let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.